Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and today I have the Signet Lavish for iPhone 5. It's an all leather flip cover case um, with a plastic inside, um, rather not inside, what I mean by that is there's a plastic shell in there which actually holds the iPhone in place. Forgive me for getting that one a bit mixed up. Um, as you can see the plastic cut out if I can get my camera, I really need a new camera. My camera's focused there, you can see there's cutouts for the volume and the mute switch is. Um, there's the home key, lock key, sorry, there. And at the bottom is the lightning port, speakers and headset jack, all exposed there. Now this plastic part is obviously just to hold the phone in place. The main case is this leather, not pouch, but it's leather flip cover. It's got a magnet just on this tab here, so once you flick it over it does hold it in place. Now obviously with it being magnetic there is obviously some movement there but thankfully you can see there's bits on the side that kind of stick out that are wider than the phone um, so if it does move around in your pocket your screen is still covered well at least it should be with with pretty minimal movement anymore and the magnet's going to come detached anyway so um, it's a pretty well thought out design. Um, now if you look on the back you can obviously see that there are ergonomically designed uh, curves here to fit in your hand so obviously you, the front cover comes away and it's still a pretty comfortable grip. Now when I first got this phone, with it being leather, um, it did take a few days for me to get used to to this, uh, these bits that kind of stick out here. Um, now obviously after a few days leather always gets a little bit worn, it gets softer and it doesn't become such an issue so I'm guessing with a few more weeks use and once you've properly worn it in you won't even notice it at all. But it's just one of those things you kind of have to get used to to start with. Now. One thing I didn't understand to start with with this case um, is that if you look on the back there, there's obviously no cutout for the camera. So if you want to use the camera, you do have to flip the cover over, and then if you pull it all the way down, you can see there is a cutout in the plastic shell. But what that means is if you are taking it in landscape mode, you then have to forcibly, not forcibly, that sounds like after you have to literally force it away. But you do have to make sure you're holding it out of the way, otherwise there's been a few times where it's kind of got in the way of the lens, um, ruined some of the shots. Uh, maybe something they can look at in terms of design there, but it, once you get used to it again, it's not that big a deal. Um, you can see inside there's a microfiber lining and also a slot for credit cards, cash keys, anything that you'd, you want to take out with you when you don't really want to have to take your wallet on a night out, etc. Day-to-day -day use has been pretty good, pretty comfortable. Um, there's nothing really majorly wrong with the case. It's really nice and slim. Um, it doesn't feel like you've got anything more than a phone in your pocket. Now obviously with a case like this, you're not gonna get maximum protection as you would with something like an Otterbox. But if you want something a bit stylish, uh, made of leather, it does have adequate padding. Um, enough shock absorption there so it can deal with the day-to-day bumps and knocks that you're going to experience with your phone. Um, out of 10, I would probably give it a 7. Um, although there's nothing incredibly wrong with it, I don't find it to be one of those cases that strikes me as being special. Um, it will do the job if you want something practical that looks fairly decent, go with it, it's fine. Um, but it's nothing screams out to me saying that this deserves anything more than a 7. It's not I wouldn't say it was a mark of excellence that anyone had to really match, it's just the bog standard flip cover leather case that does its job well and looks pretty good. Uh, I've been Cam from today's iPhone.com, if you want to leave me any comments below feel free, um, ask me any questions on Twitter, I'm at TIP underscore Cam and I'll see you again soon.